All right, so we're on to question two. Question two is generally going to be a theory and productivity tool again. They might ask you something about a spreadsheet. They might ask you something about a database. They could ask you word processing. They could ask you website building. Whatever they want to ask you, they could mix it all in here. This one is word processing. So, well, the first question at least, does it merge into something else? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm doing the paper blindly, of course, because I don't really go through the answers in advance. I actually try to answer it as you would see it as a student and think about how a student would see it and explain the things that will most likely bother most students based on my experience. So Education Corporation Agency needed us showing each student's date, um, date of birth and chosen extracurricular activity. The following table was created in a word processing application. All right, so they put it on word processing application. Write one complete record for the table. Um, even though word processor, it's not a good thing to build a database, it's still able to give you a, a record. A record is basically a set of information that you put together, a bunch of views, right? So the full record will be any one of these lines here. Any row is a full record. So this row here is MP1234. Marcia. This dictation or? Tender gas, March 10, 2013. Mathematics Club. Okay, cool. And we wrote that. Name three formatting features using the table. Oh, this is cake, man. Here we have, um, you could see that this is in italics. Italics. You could see that there is underline. Are uh, the headings in bold? Yes, the headings are in bold. Um, you could see that some things are, if you want to go further, you could go align center. You could also see align left. Yeah. That's all I've seen right there. Yeah. Three marks. Be looking good so far. That's nice. Show how you would merge two cells in a table in a word processing document. I hate these questions. I really, really hate these questions. Like, Ladies and gentlemen, they want to kill me here tonight. I want everybody to know that they want to kill me here tonight. They do not want me out here. They do. What is this? I really hate when they ask you to show how you would merge two cells. That is a practical question. Like now I have to write all the practical steps on how to merge two cells. That's, that is annoying. That's annoying. Because there is an SBA for this. But I understand the need to make sure that students know how to do things. And they have to write out how to. It's like that's like show how you would walk. Take your left foot and put it in front of your right foot. And then take your next foot and then put it in front of you. That. All right. So you would first one for three marks. Highlight the two cells to be merged. Two. Right click the highlighted area. Area. Three. Choose merge cell. Or, or, or merge and center. 3A. You could also choose from the menu bar to merge. There probably is a keyboard shortcut also. So if you know the keyboard shortcut, you could get any keyboard shortcut too because it's honestly annoying, but I don't know. So write out your answer, and if you could write out that answer and you think that you're smart, well. Oh my, you got to kill you, you know. So? No, you're not. I mean, maybe you are. But writing that out is annoying. That's that's how this gets students mad. But will get me mad. I describe the steps in the correct order for inserting a new record between existing records in the table in a word processing document. All the... Did I ever tell you all I hate these questions? Um, to insert an existing record. One, right click on the record you want to insert above two um choose insert row above three click insert row and type in the data oh. all right that hurts yeah that was painful anything else no nothing else See the type of hyperlink represented in each of the following. This is a... Ooh, nice question. This is a URL. 
Uniform Resource Locator. Some people might put our website. I don't know if our website will be a good answer. Our web page. Can't tell you if they'll accept it or not. But maybe they will, maybe they won't. We're not too sure. Um, info at Unicorp. This is our email address. There's nothing else that you can see there besides my email address. I don't think so. Nope. Jonathan went to an advertising agency because he needed to advertise his business, including a back to school sale for his bookstore. Complete the tale below uh, by name and type of printer that he would use. Okay. A billboard in the town square was needed to advertise his business. You would say this is a plotter. A plotter is an impact printer, not impact printer. Plotter is non impact. High quality graphic posters to advertise with sale. High quality, you could either get um, inject or you could get a laser. Both of them do high quality if you're, if you're putting enough effort into it. Both of them are non impact. The only other impact printer, the, the only thing that is an impact printer is a dot matrix. And, um, yeah, but the fact that they ask you for impact or non-impact, that is a little tricky because that could cause some problems. Knowing what is an impact printer and a non-impact printer, the syllabus already focused too hard on it, but it still does. So if you, if you reach this question and you're like, you're not too sure why, then yeah, crash course may be for you, classes may be for you. So 1868. 307. No, 308. I forget my number. Yes. 8799. What's up? That probably our cash course is available from 200 TT, 20 US, all the way up to everything in the syllabus and classes. And if it's not crash course season, then you probably want to check the classes too. Classes go from June to June. Every year we go from June to May cover the whole syllabus from start to finish. So if you want to get every single class that I have, and that explains every single thing in a big library with all the notes and everything, yeah, what's up? 308-8799. Back to the next question. Next part. Oh, look, a specifications question. How fun. How fun. I mean, I low-key like how they, um, how they design any papers now where they're asking you different things at different places. Because it, it, you know, that's the understanding. Alright, the graphic designer uh, the advertising agency was considered what the capabilities of his device with respect to completing new graphics design jobs and desired to view the description of desired computers online. The description of desired computers given below. Okay, cool. Based on the description of the computer, state each of the following. The speed of the processor. What do you look for when you look for a processor? Um, usually gigahertz. So somewhere inside here, look at that. Gigahertz. How do I know it's a processor? Because Intel is a processor maker. They don't have the word processor inside, but this is more than enough information for me to know that this is the... Wow, this computer is trash. 1.2 gigahertz. Jeez. Yeah. Speed of the hard drive. They won't tell you where hard drive is, but you could see RPM as revolutions per minute, and it's 5400 RPM. Not only is this computer trash, but it's ridiculously old. Nobody uses SATA hard drives anymore. Like a um, mechanical hard drive. Wow, that's insulting. An output device. Uh, anything that has an oh, output device would be like a screen. So the display is an output device. So we'll say, uh, don't have the right or the whole thing. 20 inch HD widescreen LED display. The size of the hard drive is one terabyte. All right, this question was food. Let me see. Is that anything in this question I was, um, that was difficult by? No, no. Only the writing all the steps part. Writing all the steps was annoying. For six marks, you had to write all these steps, but you really shouldn't have too much of a problem. Would this part here that might have given people some trouble because you don't know what URL is or email addresses. And, um, yeah, the impact. Okay, this question wasn't that much food. There are things here that students may not know. And... When there are things that you may not know, you really need to back up on your theory. And if you're struggling with the theory, um, I have this app called Learnit that you can find in Play Store. It's called Learn It. I have all my notes inside of it, and you might just get some of those notes for free. And all the videos that I have on YouTube, they all put there. Plus, they have all sorts of other subjects. So look for that in the Play Store. Learn It by Make It Simple TT and download the app 
and it will give you almost everything you need for IT. And it will give you all the other questions and multiple choice answers and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. All right, that's question two. Let's move on.